It's Alex with alexducker.ca, and in this video we're going to look at how to set up a staging website for WordPress using Softaculous on cPanel. So I'm here in cPanel, and I've also got a nice new installation of WordPress right here with this uh, sample page on it. Um, but let's just imagine that I've been working on this website for a while, and I need to make a change to it, but I don't want to change the live version. I want to create a staging site so I can create changes on the staging site and then push them to the live version without creating any downtime or risking uh, breaking the site in any way. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is find Softaculous and we can either search for Softaculous up here and just click on it and that would take us directly to it or we can scroll down and look for it in the menu and it's under software and you just click on Softaculous that'll take us there and as you can see, I've got one installation in Softaculous. That's my WordPress website. So I'm going to click on installations. And so there it is. It's fallasleep420.ca. Um, and if we go over here, we can create staging by clicking on this uh, icon. So I'm going to change this to HTTPS because I'm using SSL. And then I want to create my staging site on a subdomain of my main domain. And I've set up one called staging.fallasleep420.ca just for this purpose. And then it's creating a new database. And I don't need to modify the name of that. I could set the name of the database if I wanted to. And I'm just going to leave it as it is. And it's important that you check this box right here in order to uh, disable search engine visibility, because otherwise uh, you could end up getting a duplicate content penalty from search engines. And then right here we have the site name. And I'm just gonna leave that as it is. And so if I leave it blank, then it'll just leave the site name as it is. And then we just click on create staging. And it says, congratulations, the staging site was created successfully. And it has been created at the following link. And then this is the admin URL link. So I'm just going to click on the admin URL. And it should auto log me in. There we go. And if I click on this and open um, the website, now we can see that it's the same website as um, we were looking at before. So now that we've created the staging site, we need to make some changes to it and then push those changes back to the live site. So I'm just going to edit this page. And I don't need the tutorial. And I'm just going to put in amazing page. We'll update that, go back to view page. And all right, so that's my change. Um, I've changed the title of the page so I can close this now and I can also close this. This is the staging dashboard and now we are back in Softaculous so I'm just going to go to return to overview and that's not the overview that I wanted so I'm going to click on over here. There we go. So now as you can see I'm back in Softaculous and uh, I've got two installations instead of one. One of them is the staging site. And then if we look at staging.fallasleep420.ca, we can see that there's a extra button next to it called push to live. So I'm going to click on that. And then under, you can go with the default options or you can customize. And you want to overwrite the files or folders because that's how you're going to push the changes. And so what this says is that if you check that box, it will completely erase your live installations current database and replace it with the staging database. Um, so that is, I believe, what I want. So I'm going to check that box. And as you can see, it removes the other options down here, because um, otherwise we'd be looking at uh, changing the database. 
but I just want to completely replace the other one. And now I will say push to live. And it shouldn't take very long because it's just such a small website. But if, you're, you, if you have a big website, it could take a significant time. Anyways, that's all done. It says it's been successful. So now if I come back to my original tab, this is uh, fallasleep420.ca. And as you can see, it's still the old page. If I refresh this page now, it should say amazing page. Let's see if it worked. Hey, it worked. All right, so apparently, that is how you create a staging site uh, using Softaculous on cPanel. And that is also how you push from, uh, you, that is also how you push changes from staging to live using uh, Softaculous, which is built into most installations of cPanel. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I should mention that Softaculous is not really a supported um, software. It's just a free thing that comes with cPanel a lot of the time. So uh, if you break your site doing this, there's really going to be no one for you to turn to. Your host isn't going to be able to fix it for you necessarily, although they could potentially restore a backup. Um, and I'm not going to be able to fix it for you. So use this system at your own risk. Um, I, I've used it myself for my live website and I've never had any problems, but uh, I can't guarantee in any way that this is going to work and your host is not going to guarantee that it's going to work either. So if you want something where someone else will be responsible if it goes wrong, then I recommend uh, getting hosting that has a native staging function built into it or uh, using a plugin to create your staging. Both of those are options that are going to cost a little bit more money. But uh, if you are worried about things going wrong and you want someone else to be uh, kind of be there to fix it for you, then I would definitely recommend uh, a different option than Softaculous because uh, there's no support for it. However, that is how you use it. And I've personally never had any problems. Um, as you can see, this is, this is that uh, freshly pushed installation of WordPress. I can go to admin, I can go back, it's fine. So uh, anyways, that's how you create staging and push changes from staging to live using Softaculous on cPanel. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to support you, although I do recommend uh, using this at your own risk. All right, take care. I'll catch you in the next video.